Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the women of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, lately I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of messages coming in from you guys, and you're telling me that you've mustered up the courage to go say hi to this woman, perhaps at a restaurant or a bar or even a grocery store, and you're getting shot down every time. Okay. It could be many things, but guys, more than likely, it's that confident feeling. Now, here's what I've had to say about confidence. You can build confidence very quickly by lowering your expectations, by not anticipating that this is the woman of your dreams and that you're going to marry her and she's going to have your children, okay? Let's lower those expectations. In fact, let's lower them all the way down to, gosh, I hope I can get a date out of this. Just a date just to meet her, just to get to know her better, okay? So lower and get rid of all that future stuff. What's going to happen in the future? Guys, we all want that. We all want the woman of our dreams. We all want a beautiful woman who's sensible, who's lovable, and who loves us. But it's not going to happen with every woman you meet, okay? So this is depicted in season one, episode two of The Big Bang Theory. Yes, just episode two. If you recall, in episode one, Leonard moves in with Sheldon, and just a few days later, a few weeks later, there's a new roommate across the hall. Moving into that apartment is Penny. Beautiful, blonde, vivacious Penny. And this is when Leonard instantly falls in love. But Leonard, like a lot of men, is so anxious, is so nervous, of course, he has his expectations way up here. She's going to be the mother of my children. And he gets all nervous and worked up. And whenever he approaches her, he can't even look at her. He fidgets with his hands. He looks down at his feet. She even recognizes this months later in other, other episodes where she tells her girlfriends that, you know, Leonard couldn't even talk to me. He couldn't even look at me. He didn't even know what to say. So here it is. Episode two, there's a knock at the door. And it's Penny knocking on Sheldon and Leonard's door. And Leonard answers the door and Penny says, oh, Leonard, I want, I need you to do me a huge favor. Could you do me a huge favor? Leonard closes the door behind him and walks out into the hallway to get closer to her. He goes, oh, sure, Penny, whatever you need. Gosh, by the way, how was your day? She goes, oh, it was great. Well, you know, here's a key to my apartment. I, I've got a, some furniture arriving tomorrow, but I've got to work at the Cheesecake Factory. As she's telling Leonard the instructions, the guys come out in the hallway and there is Howard, creepy Howard, the engineer who says, hey baby, you look beautiful in Russian. Okay, guys, there's nothing that creeps out a woman more then when you start trying to impress her, and especially if you talk about yourself, you need to ask simple questions just like Leonard did. Gosh, Penny, how was your day? That's what makes a woman feel like she's wanted, like she's interesting to you. Not, hey, baby, you look beautiful. They've been told that a bazillion times. Anyway, this particular episode, Leonard is obviously totally infatuated with Penny. But one of the things that we oftentimes don't see is that when she came over to the door to talk to Sheldon and Leonard, she really just wanted to talk to Leonard. So my point being, guys, is that women give off these small little cues, these social cues that you can see in their body language and how they respond and how they react. Penny didn't come over and ask Sheldon to help. She asked Leonard. So guys, next time you're out and you see that beautiful lady across the restaurant and you want to approach her, look her in the eye, give her a big smile and walk over and be self-assured. Lower those expectations and know that you can get her phone number if you just approach it with confidence and ask questions about her. Hi, how are you doing? How was your day? Don't go up and approach her and tell her how beautiful she is. If you want to give her a compliment, compliment her dress, compliment her shoes, compliment her hair, compliment her earrings, but don't compliment her specifically, okay? Gentlemen, I hope this has gotten you 
a little bit closer to finding the woman of your dreams. Now remember, subscribe to my videos so that way you can get alerts every time a new video is uploaded and you too can find the woman of your dreams. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.